What's up, YouTube? Tenchi Arizona, the angry Dracolope of the Jackalope crew here. And today I am going to be revisiting the Cold Steel Pro Light. And I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. I'm going to be testing it by cutting some meat. Now, I haven't resharpened this. This is still the factory edge. So I'm going to do some cutting on some chicken because that's what I'm going to be having to eat later on. Some chicken and rice. So just let me get everything repositioned and we will get down to doing some cutting on some chicken with the Cold Steel Pro Light. Okay, so you can see the cutting board here, which is actually a square of marble. And I've got my chicken unpacked and ready to cut. So all I have to do now is flip out the old cold steel. The, as I said, this is the Pro Light. You can see it in its full glory here. Let's see how the factory edge has held up, shall we? Now, I do realise chicken is not the toughest thing to cut, but I happen to like chicken. And I don't know anyone who doesn't. And quite honestly, if you have not got a sharp blade, chicken can be quite difficult to cut if a blade is dull. Clearly this blade is not, because it's slicing through like a laser. <laughs> and as I said, I'm going to be using this for cooking later on. Probably going to do myself some chicken and rice or maybe some chicken curry. Not too sure yet. <laughs> but you can see I'm kind of throwing it off to the side. I've got a bowl off to the side here. And yeah. The factory edge has actually held up very well on this blade. Haha, <laughs> just got myself with it. Not going to worry about that just now. But, yep. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Didn't even feel that, guys. Hey, there you see, got myself my own blade. So, I will <laughs> get a band-aid for that and fin then finish cutting up my chicken. But it is safe to say, this blade has held its edge. I'll get back to the tabletop segment in a bit. See you soon, guys. And I'm back again. And as you can see, I've finished cutting up the chicken after my knife gave me a bite. Anyway, it seems that I was somewhat negligent and ran out of band-aids in my first aid kit, but luckily I also had a tin of this stuff. Spray plaster, good for minor cuts and abrasions. So that's what I used, minor cuts and grazes. My cut was relatively minor, though it was right next to the nail, so it's a really annoying spot. And I do still have chicken to cut. But I think we have proven beyond any doubt that cold steel, even on their more budget knives, such as the Pro Light here, do know how to do an edge. I mean, I didn't even notice that cut until I saw the blood guys, seriously. And usually... On most occasions where I have been cut, I have noticed it the second it has happened. Now, that cut was really my bad. I should have been paying more attention to what I was doing instead of talking. But, yeah, you play with knives long enough, you're going to get cut. And I'm not going to cut that out of the video. I'm actually going to leave that little mishap in the video because that's just the, just the kind of guy I am 
I'm not gonna cut stuff out just because it happens. <laughs> cut stuff out, get it? Anyway, I should have been more careful while cutting meat and recording a video at the same time. I wasn't. I got bit. End of story, guys. And quite honestly, it's not the first time I've got bit. But it is actually the first time in a long time I have been bit actually using one of my knives. You see, usually when I get cuts and shit, it's usually paper cuts. As ironic as that might seem, I've got splinters before. I've been cut on glass plenty of times before. But I rarely cut myself with one of my knives because I'm careful with them. I respect the damage they can do. So... As I said, that cut is totally on me. I wasn't paying attention. And if you're not paying attention to a blade, that is the penalty. You will get cut. Now, I'm just going to finish cutting up this chicken here. As I've only got one more breast left. And I know what you're thinking. Three chicken breasts is quite a bit for one guy. But this is going to do me a couple of days meals. So I'm going to do myself, as I said, chicken and rice or a chicken curry tonight. And then I can do some chicken wraps with any of the chicken that is left over. And you can see this is cutting really well. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to do a pass through. Not all the way through, so I can show you the sort of channel. Look at that. Nearly all the way through that breast. And it was just a slight nick with the tail end of the blade that caught my thumb. So, yeah. When you are using your knives, guys, please be careful. So you don't cut yourself. Pretty much all I need to say there, isn't it? You've seen me uh, slice myself a little bit by not paying attention. And I am paying a lot more attention now because I want to have chicken for dinner, not my finger for dinner. <laughs> and yeah, I don't doubt that this blade could have cut me to the bone if I had caught myself on more than the tail end of the, of the cut. So lesson learned there, guys. And this is 590 grams of prime chicken breast cut for my meals for the next two days. And I'll get back to the tabletop side of this video momentarily. But you can see that it has cut quite handily through a half a kilo of chicken. What else can I say, guys? Now, I'm going to get washed up, go back to the tabletop side, and we'll see if that cutting has affected the edge in any way. See you again soon, guys. And we are back at the desk, guys. Anyway, as you saw, the Cold Steel Pro Light handled handily around a pound of chicken and also managed to get me in the process. That just goes to show, folks, all it takes is one second's lapse of concentration and you're getting bit. But I'm not mad because now I can truly say that knife is mine because it's drawn my blood. Anyway, after cutting through a pound of chicken and taking a bite out of me, not a big bite, but a bit of one, let's see how it holds up to my old standby test of a bit of paper. Cardstock in this case for, yeah, just voting leaflets. So, let's see, shall we? I think it is safe to say that the edge has not been affected in the slightest. And this particular knife, the Cold Steel Pro Lite, is made out of Krupp's 4116 German stainless steel. 
And this is a stainless steel that is known for having poor edge retention. Really guys, poor edge retention. It sharpens to a razor and it retains its edge like a razor. Anyway, that's all on this knife for today. I'm going to be very careful closing it because I do not want to get myself caught in the action of this blade when it's closing, given how sharp we know it is. Anyway, as I said, that's all for the blade today. That's the Cold Steel Pro Lite. There are going to be more videos like this coming in the future. They may be quite spread apart though, as I can't always have use of the kitchen to do my YouTube videos. Because Ken, my housemate, usually does the cooking. That's what he prefers. So I only do cooking when he's away. Enough rambling on that. If you would like to support my channel, I do still have 141 of these channel stickers left available. $1.50 a piece. They are 70 millimeters diameter printed on vinyl, so they are suitable for tackle boxes, toolboxes, gun cases, reloading benches, what have you. They should hold up as well indoors and outdoors. And as I said, they are $1.50 a piece. If you would like to get yourself some, you will find a paypal.me link in the description of this video and in my channel banner on YouTube. You can also find me on Instagram at the Angry Dracolope. And well, that's all for now, guys. If you like it, like it, please subscribe, comment, and share. And remember, be good to each other.